Good morning, and I'd like to show you the smallest kind of scale. The smallest kind of scale, and it's not even called a scale, it's called a tetrachord. chord. You know about eight note scales, of course, called diatonic scales, and you probably know about pentatonic scales, five note scales, and you know, know about chromatic scales, which have all the uh, half steps in them. And you even probably know about whole step scales, which are nothing but whole steps. That's a whole step scale. Well, I like to show you the shortest kind of scale. It's a four note scale called a tetrachord. And uh, this was used hundreds of years ago. And later, <clears throat> two of these tetrachords were combined to form a normal eight note diatonic scale. We're all used to this scale. We grew up playing this kind of scale, right? And that's a diatonic scale, but a diatonic scale is made out of two tetrachords. They're the building blocks of scales. And here's what a tetrachord is. It's uh, four notes that are always arranged in this order. Whole step, whole step, half step. That's all it is. Whole step, whole step, half step. And you say, well, big deal. What's, what's the big deal about that? Well, it's no deal. You just stack two tetrachords on top of one another, and you've got a scale. Whole step, whole step, half step. In other words, the lower tetrachord is whole step, whole step, half step. And the upper, upper tetrachord is whole step, whole step, half step, right? And a whole step always separates the two tetrachords, by the way. In other words, this is the lower tetrachord of four notes. And this is the upper tetrachord of four notes. And they're separated by a whole step there, right? So we have whole, whole, half, then a whole step, then whole, whole, half. And that gives us a diatonic scale. Well, you say, well, so what? That's easy to see. They're all white keys. Yeah, but if you start at any other point, they're not all white keys. For example, if you start on B, a tetrachord from B would be whole step, whole step, half step. Because a whole step always skips a key, whether it's white or black. In other words, that's a half step. So that's a whole step. Then another whole step above that is there. And then a half step above there is there. Okay? Then, the up then you go up a whole step. Then the upper tetrachord is whole step, whole step, half step. So you can see the B scale is whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half. Now when you visualize that, that makes the B scale pretty easy to understand, doesn't it? Why? Because it only has two white keys, B and E. There's another B, right? But it's the same, same note, B. And they use all the black notes. So that makes the, the scale of uh, B really easy to understand because you use all the black keys. You don't need to wonder about what black keys are, you use all of them. And the fingering, by the way, it works best is probably like this. Thumb, second, third, and then tuck your thumb under. You want to use your long fingers on black keys if you can, and then uh, your short fingers, like your thumb, on white keys, right? It just makes sense because your, your uh, long fingers are up there and your short fingers, like your thumb and your pinky, are, are down on the white keys. So it just makes sense. It's just. It's not that you have to do it that way, it's just probably smoother, easier for you to do, okay? So the B scale has five sharps, right? Those five sharps. In other words, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, right? All five sharps. Now, why don't we call those flats? Well, we could call that D flat, but if we did, guess what? There'd be no C in the scale, would there? We'd skip C entirely. We'd go from B to D flat, and that's a no note. In every, in every scale, you have to have every note of the alphabet A through G. So we've got to have one B, one C, one D, one E, one F, one G, one A. Okay? Whether they're sharp or flat. Okay, now there's another scale that uses all uh, five black keys too. And this time they're flat keys. And uh, they're called, it's a D flat scale. But watch, I'll start in D flat, go up a whole step for the next tetrachord, whole step, then a half step. Okay, that's the lower tetrachord of D flat. Now let's go up a whole step and start the second tetrachord. Whole step, whole step, half step. So whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay? So the D flat scale, guess what? Uses all the black keys as well, but this time they're all flats, aren't they? D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, and the octave note D flat. And that's all there is to do with tetrachords. Anytime you want to figure out any scale, Let's say you wanted to start on E flat. You go up a whole step and another whole step and then a half step. That's the lower tetrachord. And then you got to separate 
the top tetrachord from the lower tetrachord by whole step, so you start not there, but there, a whole step above it, and then a whole step, whole step, half step, okay? So that's the E flat scale based on two tetrachords, lower and upper, okay? I hope that's clear, and think about that and try it out on different points of the uh, keyboard, and I think you'll understand it quickly. So thanks for being with me, and if you want more tips like this, come on over to playpiano.com. And if you're not already not signed up for our newsletter, be sure to do that. But uh, check it out at playpiano.com or you can browse our catalog at playpianocatalog.com. A slight difference. Playpiano.com or playpianocatalog.com. Okay? So thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye bye for now.